All right, send me your location. That's what we're kind of talking about. Uh, determine slope. This is 5.1, lesson 5.1 for unit five, and this is the first lesson, 5.1. So check it out. We're dealing with ordered pairs. And as you can see, I have the word ordered pair right here. And so that's because the word ordered pair and the word points are going to be very important for this conversation. So what is an ordered pair, right? What is an ordered pair? An ordered pair tells you where something is in space. It uh, gives you coordinates, gives you a location. So when Khaled says, send me your location and I, and all that stuff he says, um, when you send somebody your location in the phone, it actually gives some coordinates so you know where something actually is so um for ordered pair gives you coordinates for a point a location a place in space so a place in space so when i point at my finger i'm in my glasses you see me pointing at my glasses right here yeah that's a place in space and the other side of my glasses is a different place this is one place this is a different place. They have different coordinates. Okay, good. And so look, an ordered pair, if I look at an ordered pair, they have two things. And if you look at number three, I'm going to give you a little hint. There's a little hint. Pick up the hint. Hopefully you're picking up the hint. All right, because the hint is right here. All right, an ordered pair has this form, an X and a Y. So a letter X and a letter Y. And in algebra, when we're dealing with graphs, when we're dealing with graphs, we're not looking at variables. We're dealing, well, they're actually variables. We're, we're dealing with graphs here. All right, so what are X and Y? But the important piece is an ordered pair has X comma Y in parentheses. Open parentheses, X comma Y, close parentheses. If we look at problem number three, look at problem number three, all right? Number three, we have X here, and we have the Y here. So the X is the negative three, and the Y is the four. And let's look at um, 3B. We have the X here, and we have the Y here, right? So the X is five, and the Y is positive two. And as you see, it's the same thing here. You have the parentheses, you have what the X is, which is negative two, you have what the Y is, which is a zero. So X and Y are coordinates. So when you send me your location, you send me those coordinates, it tells me where you are in the world. Those are coordinates. So you need to coordinate to make sure that your coordinates work. All right. <laughs> so what does the X stand for? If there's an X and a Y, well, then the X stands for horizontal. Now, when you think of the word horizontal, I want you to think of something laying down. All right. When something lays down, it lays down like that. Right. That's horizontal. That's horizontal. As a matter of fact, if this was a if you're looking at a picture, you might see the word horizon. Not Verizon, not the phone pole, not the phone pole. I'm talking about horizon. If you look at the horizon, it's just like all the landscape, you know, the mountains and the trees and stuff like that. So that's the horizon. And the horizon goes left to right. The horizon, it goes left to right. Okay? It goes left to right. Now, when you look at your phone, and if you have your phone and you're taking a picture in landscape mode, your phone goes left to right. So you can just think in, you know, when you think of X, you can think of landscape. When you think of X, you can think left to right. You can think horizontal. And that's the word I want you to learn. Horizontal. Very important word. Okay. Cool beans. And now what does the Y represent? If the X is left to right, then the Y must be up and down. Yep. Up and down. All right. So when you think of why, think of up and down. All right. Up and down. 
all right? Portrait, you might hold your phone up and down to get a portrait picture, right? Uh, another word is vertical. When we say, hey, uh, Michael Jordan had a great vertical, that meant how high up he can go because a vertical jump or a vertical is up and down. That's up and down. So keep that in your mind. A vertical is up and down. So we're going to graph points based upon their pro. Well, yeah, the directions say graph the points and label with their appropriate letter. Now I need to read things three times for it to make sense. So graph the points. Okay, so I'm going to draw the points and label it with the appropriate letter. It says their appropriate letter. So I'm going to, you know, draw the point and then put an A, B, C, or D next to it. All right. So that's what we're doing. So this coordinate, this ordered pair is negative three comma four. That's the X. Negative three is the X. Four is the Y. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my starting point. And the starting point, you know, that you see the word green, it means go. All right. This is your starting point. Whenever you're plotting, this is your starting point. And that's what we call zero, zero. All right. That's zero, zero. Um, that's zero in terms of the X and it's zero in terms of the Y. This is zero, zero. That's our starting point. All right. Or point of origination. Some students may say, or some teachers may say point of origination. And so what you're going to do is it says negative three. And this is what we're working on right now. Negative three, which is the X, four, which is the Y. So I want to go to my point of origin. And first I'm going to go and mark the X because the X comes first. The X comes first, all right? So it says negative three. So I'm going to go right here to negative three, right? Then it says four. So I'm going to go up to four. So what I did was I did negative one, negative two, negative three, and now it says four. It's really a positive four. So one, two, three, four. And so my point is actually right here. That's my point. That's my point. So I started at the point of origin and I went negative three, negative one, negative two, negative three, and then I went up four. One, two, three, four. All right. And that's letter A. So I'm going to put the letter A next to this point because the directions say graph the points and label with their appropriate letter. Okay. And here's the thing. I'm going to erase these marks because this is what I needed to do. I need to go to negative three, four. So I went to negative three, four. Okay. So let's do number two now. Let's do number two, actually B. We're going to work on B now, okay? And B says five, negative two. The X is five, the Y is negative two. So I'm going to go to my point of origin, my zero point, and I'm going to go to five. One, two, three, four, five. You see, I go left, right first, and then I go up and down. And then it says negative two, which means I go down to a negative means you're going down one, two. So my point is going to be right here, right here. Here's my point. Okay. And I need to label it. So I'm going to label it by putting a B. And they gave an uppercase B. So I'm going to give them an uppercase B. So teacher will mark it correct. All right, good. So now we have a B. Now let's look at C. Let's look at C. Okay. C it's negative two, zero. So I go to my starting point and I go negative two, negative one, negative two, and it says to go up zero. That means I don't go up at all. I don't move at all. Going up zero, if you're moving zero, you're not moving. So this will be C. That's my point for C. All right, good, good. Once again, I drew these. You can leave them up there if you want to, but um, what you want to do is you want to make sure it's negative two, zero, right? I uh, accidentally, I, I messed that up, accidentally um, <laughs> erased my point. 
So let me put my point back here. There we go. All right. Matter of fact, I'll make all these points look nice and pretty. Yeah, make that one look nice and pretty. Good. Okay. And now I need to do the last one. So you can do it for me, right? You can do it in your head by now, right? Right? All right. So I'm going to start at the point of origin. And I want to move how, how far to the left or right? Zero. But it tells me I need to move up one. So I start at the point of origin. I move left or right zero. And then I move up one. So I moved up one. And so my point is going to be right here. That's where my point is. And let me go ahead and put the uh, letter. That's D, right? D. All right. So that's how we solve that. Once again, let's go over it again. The ordered pair gives you a location, a place in space, or you can say coordinates for a point. The ordered pair has the form X, Y, parentheses, X, comma, Y. X and Y are the coordinates, all right? X represents horizontal, which is left to right. X is left to right. And Y is up and down or vertical. So learn that word vertical. That's going to make a big difference. You're going to need to know that word vertical, OK? So that's how we do determining. That's how we determine the slope. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry. That's where we figure out how to get points. <laughs> points on a graph. So we just figured out how to get points on a graph.